Well, hello everyone. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video on Liz Loves to Cook, and I thought I'd get together the spices that I told you that I would do the seasonal I make. Uh, the story is that uh, when my mom was alive, me and her used to like to watch uh, Emeril Lagasse, and he comes, he puts together um, a spice and he, he, when he puts it in his food, he screams out, bam, you know, so he's like, that's extra touch, special touch he does to his food. Well, mama would watch it from her place. I would watch it from my place and then would call each other and talk to, to each other about the spice that he has and this cooking and all that good stuff. And, um, so I have here, what I'm going to have here is, um, the spice that I decided to start making as a result of watching Emerald Lagasse. So, um, ever since then, I've never really made, you know, I had to buy the, the store bought, uh, all spice, you know, um, seasoned salt. Um, this one's empty. I bought it because I needed a new bottle. So I used it up and now I put my own in here. So, um, I actually have two, this one and one I've been using forever. You know, um, if, you know, and I could probably get a new one and then, but um, that's what I do. And um, I'm about to show you how I actually get that put together. It's real simple with my allspice. You buy, you know, you may have an already container you could use that will have, you know, one of these kind of lids um, that once you have it done, you can put it in here. Um, I just chose to use one of these and it doesn't matter what brand it's just a matter of get one of these use it up and then save it and then make your own make your own spice um, and this way you always know what it is that you have in your in your spice that you're putting on your meat that you do every day and um, I've always had this my kids have always had it they've seen me make it since for, they probably don't even remember when I started. So, first thing I start with is some salt. And if you want to, if you are uh, healthy conscious, you could do it any kind of variety. If you need to make something that's with the salt, the no salt type of um, type of salt, that way you, um, which I should be using because I have high blood pressure, um, that will help you to not make sure that you don't have. Uh, too much salt in your food and um, one of the versions I'm making the version I just kind of put whatever I want to in here and I make it how I how I like it this is what you'll do and um, I have cayenne pepper and if you like it hot you can make a hot version you have two containers you can make a hot version with the cayenne pepper and, a, and one that doesn't have cayenne pepper in it and I would label it to make sure if that's what you like to do if you have somebody in your house that likes the cayenne pepper which you can see this is full this is not a new thing so that means we don't do hot I don't do a lot of hot so the next thing I do and, and just a little bit of a reminder all these spices I get for 50 cents at a dollar store or Dollar General or Dollar Tree fine I mean I get the very cheap stuff to make it um, and so I just get the cheap tough start to make it so first thing you would do is to put some paprika in it paprika in my opinion is what makes it makes it the red color with all the allspice that you see or the, or the I mean the um, seasoned salt you see um, it that's what makes it red but uh, see this is fresh this is new I usually end up buying me plenty for so that I have it for a while but um, I put it I just kind of this is a dunk recipe where you just dunk some in there and, uh, and keep it ready for when I may want to and as you can see it starts getting a different color and put some pepper in it I have sometimes forgot to put the pepper in it, but it still turned out good. Um, 
And then what I do is do the garlic. Now, this is what you need to remember. When you're putting together the all, but the season salt, don't buy garlic salt and don't buy onion salt. The reason is you already have salt in here. So you don't want to put more salt in it. You just want to do garlic powder and onion powder. And you put some in there. Garlic powder, onion powder. And then got the paprika. And now we got salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. And the next thing I like putting in here is if you've seen my past videos, you know I love basil. If at this point you don't like to put anything Italian in there, you have a good basic season salt. That's the good basic season salt. And you can put however much measures, measurings of stuff in there. I stir it up. It doesn't look like it's red enough. I like to put a little bit more paprika. put enough salt in there just mix it up of course when you put it in the jar sometimes I've made it straight fresh in here I just dump everything in here and shake it up and um, but from here this is the basic and from here you can either do the cayenne pepper if you want it hot or you could do the Italian because you like Italian. I'm going to have oregano and basil in there because I like that in my spices. Somebody that's been my ancestor must have been Italian. I've always liked Italian food. I usually ask people, okay, when I find out what their likes and dislikes with food, I said, okay, do you like Chinese food or Italian food? A lot of times people are either or on that when, when I start asking. You always have someone that says, oh, I like it all. So, I'm going to put a little bit of basil and a little bit of oregano. And that's my spices. So, and it'll all get mixed up even more when I put it in here, but as you can tell, this is the spicy, uh, show you the, what it looks like, the color, see how the color is, and I like that, and that's my spices. Now, the, one of the next things that started, I started thinking is, me and my son were watching the news one day, and uh, they were reporting that parmesan cheese that comes in a bottle and I won't say the store or anything but uh, the parmesan cheese in a bottle at one of the stores had some wood pulp in it <laughs> so what me and my son did well what what I did is I went when I went to Kroger I bought a wedge of parmesan so when I bought the wedge of parmesan I thought, well, I'm not going to even chance it. It says it has wood pulp in it. I might as well cook fresh. So I went and got the Parmesan wedge. And my son William got it all shaved up. And he, he'll divide his uh, him a bag of it and me a bag of it. He's got a bag of cheese. I got a bag of cheese. And that way, neither one of us eat more of what's there. So that we both get a fair share of it. And... Um, when we made spaghetti with that on there, oh my goodness, you could taste the Parmesan cheese and it tasted so good. And I tell you that story so that you, uh, I challenge you to go ahead and 
instead of buying the bottled stuff with Parmesan cheese, get it yourself, you know, and shave it yourself to have, however you want to, you know, cut it up. And after you mix this up, all you do is spoon it in here. So I challenge you to try that and know, and I tell you that story because I'm trying to think of how can I improve my spices. So I may need to do some research on how to improve my spices. But uh, basically what I'm trying to show you is that when you make this, you know what's in it. You don't, you know, you know it doesn't have any fillers. And you can make the spice according to how you would like to have it. And, um, and how your family would like to have it. Because you're going to have some family members that some of them like it hot, some of them don't. So, I've never kind of made separate food for my kids when they were growing up. Because I felt if I made it, they needed to eat what I made. And then change it up for the one that was a little finickier so they'd have a good you know, supper they liked. But, um... With all that being said, you can make the different things with your family, for your family. And uh, that way they have the tastes and flavors they like. So that's my spices. And it's real easy. And anybody can do it. Go to the dollar store, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, because they're going to be cheaper than Walmart. When Walmart's got them, last I saw the, a couple of days ago, had some of these like had some of these like for 98 cents but a lot of times I've been seeing them at the Dollar General or Dollar Tree for a lot cheaper well Dollar Tree's good everything's a dollar so at Dollar General you'll see some of these maybe two for one but um, just shop around find your spices that you want to put in there so um, and as you know, if y'all are a gourmet type cook and you like doing different things, you'll you'll think of things that you could put in here that you would like. So um, I'm actually going to sit here and uh, I make I like um, fancy. You know, when you want your table to be fancy, I got some fancy uh, salt and pepper shakers from. Um, from, from a store in uh, Corinth that I liked. And I also have some basic table salt and pepper shakers. So what I'm going to do is finish up here and uh, actually fill up these two so that I can have my salt and pepper sh shakers felt up, filled up. So when I'm not, while I'm doing that, y'all um, like my page, subscribe to me, tell people about what I do here. Sorry for the delay with uh, some of my videos. The very next thing I'm thinking of is trying to do a basic chili recipe because my family and uh, family that I've cooked for have always loved my chili and they're like, how did you cook your chili? You know, so the next thing I'd like to do is to get some, you know, I may not be able to do it for a while. Um, next payday so the next payday comes I will be putting up uh, seeing about getting me some uh, chili chili fixings so that everybody knows I remember my I actually remember my nephew and niece Brittany and Joshua uh, my ex's uh, niece and nephew um, they really loved my chili and that when they'd come back in town they'd want to uh, want my chili so this will be for the, for family, um, so they'll know how I made my chili. It's nothing simple. It's nothing like elaborate and gourmetish. It's just how I do it, you know. So, um, so that's will be the next thing that I do, which will be the the chili. And it's not really homemade. It's kind of you buy some packets and cans from the store. So. So it's documented here in video, and my family knows how I made it. I'm going to do that next. So, um, and got my salt and pepper shakers filled up. So, um, that's how, how I did it. That's how I do it. And as you can see, 
I did my table with a tablecloth. Um, I like tablecloths, so I, you know, all different kinds of tablecloths. Um, I, 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 I've kind of developed that since I lived in Corinth, Mississippi. For some reason, I just like tablecloths, and I used to like to set my table and even have it set with a tape with a plate and silverware, you know, for two people and inviting and always, you know, welcome for people to come. So um, um, I think too many people don't try to make their kitchens welcome anymore. They have stuff all over it, and I've done it. I've had my table with all kinds of stuff all over it, other than trying to get the table comfortable for family to sit at. And if you clear your table off you and, and do something on it every now and then, uh, like a meal and bring the family meal back, it'll mean, it'll mean so much for somebody. And uh, you may not see it now, but it'll be down the line that they'll remember, you know, what, a, what kind of family memories they had around the table. One of the family memories I had around the table was me and the kids played a game. We played this game that was it was, uh, we were trying to name, we'd have to come up with a quote from a movie. And um, I would start it and there would be a quote and that, that, they, that I would say from a movie and they would have to guess the person that said it and which movie it was in. And we finished eating and we stayed around that table and we had a blast with doing different rounds of that. I can remember picking up the sugar, the top of the sugar and putting it in like a pacifier and sucking on it like a pacifier and made them try to guess who it was. You know, so, and they would have to guess who did that and what movie it was in or TV show. So that was a lot of fun. Um, and actually, I don't think I'm going to give you the answer. Somebody's going to I'm going to see who's watching me. And you need to find, tell me in the comments below who did that and what movie or TV show was in. I picked up a sugar lid and sucked on it like a pacifier. <laughs> That'll be fun. See who's listening to me. And uh, on my next video, I'll tell you the answer which I'm sure somebody will come up with the answer. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And um, don't know how what my sign-off is for the videos yet. But uh, until until next time, my friend, we'll, uh, and we'll gather around my table to, come to talk about another recipe and how I cook in my kitchen and about family memories. Thank you. Bye.